What is up, guys? Video Game Chain Poop here with another uh, game I decided to play this year. This time, Metroid. The original Metroid. Now, Metroid is pretty much my favorite, one of my favorite series by Nintendo, pretty much. So, uh, I thought I'd decide to do the first game on NES. Emergency Order. Defeat the Metroid of the planet Zebeth and destroy the mother brain and mechanical life vein. Galaxy Feder Federal Police. And something 10? Okay. But yeah, Metroid. Yeah, I thought I'd do this game. It came out in 1986 in Japan and 1987 in the US and Europe. Uh, but I'm on the US version on my NES Classic. Uh, and again, I am playing this through RetroArch, so, yeah. That's the point here, isn't it? So... So... So, now, usually I would play games legit, but this time, I'm gonna cheat in this game, because I wanna try and make this one video. This is so I can get this game out of the way, so then I can move on to other Metroid games in future. So... I thought I'd get this out of the way first, so... Now, um, uh, now I forgot what the code was, but I know it gives you, like, all items in the game. Uh, uh, I'll just look that up, guys. Alright. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so the password is, uh, right, so we're gonna type it in. Uh, so it's nar pass sword. So, so nar, and then pass. And then sword. And then just zero 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 zero. There you go. Uh, it's not the sword zero 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 like that. Then let's start. And we start in the first area, which is Brinstar. We control Samus here. Uh, except we got all upgrades immediately. Except our, except the Ice Beam kind of looks like the Wave Beam a bit. And I'm using a SNES controller as well. And because of RetroArch, I've got Auto Fire enabled, which is neat. And when we get the when we get the Morph Ball or the Mari Mari. Our suit changes. That's weird. We don't need to use the Morph Ball to get up there now because we've got the high jump ability as well. When we take damage, we we gain health. <laughs> That's weird. But then when we get health, we lose health sometimes. Like, I lost a bit of health there, but yeah, you have infinite health as well. Which is not in the original. And we have the bombs as well. So we can go down here and just, and then we can go to this area right here. You're not supposed to go here yet, but with the password you can. There is also a glitch as well you can do, which I'll do like later, but still. But yeah, and here we go. We're in Craig's Lair. So I thought for this for this playthrough, I just go on for the bosses and beat the game. There's only three bosses. There's two main ones and the final one. Uh, so... Yeah. So I'm just gonna find the bosses. And I think, yeah, we have infinite missiles as well. There's no missile counter. But, I think we have infinite missiles too. Even though there's no counter. I don't know, though. Uh, I might have to look at the password further. No. There we go. And we can get the energy tank here. Or not. I'm gonna walk through here. Take damage. Let's see. Do we get more health or... Nope. 
<laughs> well, we do get extra energy thing, but we're still not going to get more health, it seems like. But we have infinite anyway, so who cares? Uh... It also means I'm not going to get all items, because I don't really know where all items are in this game. Uh, I will have... I will obviously get all of them in later games, though. Uh, mainly because the NES version is pretty much just the normal game, and you don't really uh, care if you want to 100% it or not. Pretty much. And I'm stuck, it seems like. There we go. But yeah, Metroid is one of my favorite series. I definitely recommend playing it. It's it is Nintendo only, so so it's not on PlayStation or Mac or Xbox or Sega systems, it's just Nintendo. So, yeah. But yeah, it's a really good series, and I definitely recommend playing them. Uh, especially uh, the later games. The later games are way better. But still. I've also got this. We've also got the screw attack, it seems, as well, so. With the cheat, so. We cannot kill these, but we can freeze them. Alright. I don't know if there was something up there or not. Alright. Because I don't know where I need to go. I seem to be confused a lot. But again, I do have my map. Uh, I have, I've got, I've actually got, uh, uh, it's sort of like Nintendo power, but not too much. Um, because it's like, uh, one of the new ones. It's like, in like, it's like an anniversary one or something. And I've actually, it actually has the maps for, uh, what just happened there? Uh, I was turning my book and that happened. And I've got the map for uh, for ev almost every area in Metroid. I don't think it has the last one though, because obviously there's no secret ones in the last one. You just go through to find the final boss. But uh, that's obvious anyway. So, uh, but for the others, uh, because there's a lot of secrets in that, it's I think it's mainly for like a player's guide on how to get like all items and that. But I clearly need it to go and get. Um, uh, let's go and get, uh, the, uh, battle, and I don't think it was that way, because uh, according to the map in the middle, it's where the elevator is, so I need to go back. No! Yeah, and there's a remake of this game on Game Boy Advance as well called Metro Zero Mission. Uh, that one is way better, in my opinion. Uh, and it's easier for me to play as well. Uh, it is a bit different than the original as well, though, so... It's not exactly the same. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. Oh, I missed! I think it's easier to... In fact, the, the door at the top can also lead us there. What? I killed it! Alright, how about this? Yeah, because you can also do the bomb jump as well, which is a glitch. Oh, it didn't work. Right, I clearly need to go for a door first. And then get out. Oh, mind you, there's a secret passage. Uh, this way we have to go through, so... Oh, hold on. Uh... Oh, wait, no, I am completely wrong. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not that way, but it is... 
in the right, though, so... Oh, the enemy's still not there. Well, how about this? I still cannot get up there. That's so weird. Well, you can get up from this way as well. Get out of my damn way, I'm your sandbox, I'm gonna destroy you all in this game. Just want to defeat the game on the NES. So, we'll go for this way. And yeah, uh, I believe uh, now... In my opinion, I think the Famicom Disk System version of this game is actually way better than the NES version because not only it has a save feature, but also- Whoa! What is that enemy doing? <laughs> okay, um... Right, so we got up there. Right, hold on. I'm looking at my map. Right, I think it's this door, right? No! Right, luckily that enemy's there now, so we can, uh, do this. One. No. Oh, my God. Oh, I keep it. Because I'm on the Super Nintendo controller, because the buttons are a bit confusing. No! Don't screw attack! I have to do it all again. Don't screw attack! It's a bit difficult. Because it kills some enemies. Oh my god, I have to do this again. So I think I just go straight. After this. Can I... Like, I... Obviously I can do the bomb trick, but it's not... But my jump... The jump is not high enough. To get up there, so... That is why. The game's slowing down as well, but the slowdown in the Japanese version is, like, not too much. That's why it's better on Famicom this system. Um. Oh, there we go. That worked. Okay. Get out my way. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to be Ness from Mother or Earthbound here, but still. Uh, probably him in puberty, my voice, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, down here, alright, I think I've got a cross. Um, and I just continue down to find a door here. I can continue down as well, but I want to access the secret passage. Um, uh, and I'm on, I want to try and beat this game in one video as well, so... Oh, and you find a missile tank here. If I can get up there, at least. Cool. Whoa! Whoa! We got that. And... We got a missile count. It says we got five, but let me shoot. No, we've got infinite missiles as well. Well, it seems like it anyway. Um... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, is that just the missile area? Uh, so I went through there. Uh. Okay, it is just the missile area, so... Okay, um... So there's clearly a different path we have to take. Fall all the way down here. And I believe. Right, so. Straight ahead is where our boss is. Alright. I can do this. This is so. Hard. Yeah, this is where the boss is. It's this door right here. But before we go there, uh, I want to try. Up here, 
where a secret is, so I'm gonna try and do a glitch here. Nope! Oh my god. Right, I'm gonna have to do a save state here, and that is weird how I went through. Right, so I'm gonna have to save state here. You can see I have more games on my NES Mini. Uh, okay. 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 And then you just... So you press down and then up immediately to Morph Ball. You must have the Morph Ball ability to do this. But it's expected you have it anyway, so... And then... See, I'm there. Oh, I have soft locked. I've soft locked the game. But luckily we save stated though, so... It's a good thing, right? Well, I guess we... I, I guess I shouldn't do it now, or should I? Okay. okay. Yeah, do not do it slow, otherwise you're not going to do it. Yeah, I wish I could do it on the other store, but still. And I soft lock again because of these enemies. Yeah, because these enemies are going to keep respawning. It's not its not a good idea, let's say. Okay, uh, we'll just go with the normal boss then. Uh, so we meet Kraid, uh, who is one of the bosses in this game. Now, the way you fight him... There's, there's also an energy tank here. If I can get it. Alright, so... Whoa! And then I believe you get the missiles, and then just... Just gotta keep shooting. Shooting with the missile. You could also use bombs as well. It's what most people fight these bosses with. Like, not just Kraid, but the other one as well. Uh, well, not the final one, of course, because you have to use missiles. Uh, but for the next, for the other one, you do use, um... Oh! We've beaten him very quick. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get that, uh, let's get that energy tank, actually. Alright. can't seem to get it. Oh, I get it from here. There we go! Although it's not useful, but still, it's nice to get it. And the music changed. Okay, uh, does the door come back or not? Nope! So I cannot access the area. But up there you will find a fake crate, and if you defeat it, nothing happens. Uh, literally nothing happens. Uh, so now all I gotta do is uh, get out of this area. Now the quickest way is to die, of course, but but we have infinite health, so it's almost impossible. So unless, hold on, how about I can get up here very quickly? No, nope, not like that. Oh my god, not in the door. Alright, here we go. So, like that. Okay. Yeah, I almost turned off my NES Mini. Ugh. Like, I pressed the power button and then pressed it again and it didn't turn off. I think it's because of the emulator, and I bet if I exited the emulator while it's, while it's set to off, then then pretty much, uh... Oh wait, hold on, is there something below there? You know what, it doesn't matter. I don't think it's useful to do that. So I have to do it the hard way then! Oh my god. I can't do this at all. Oh, 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 god. Good! I got this. Uh, uh. Uh. No. Uh. 
Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. No! No! Oh, it's so hard to get back up. Come on. It's harder with the screw attack. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, it's best to do that. I don't know if you go. No, that's the missile door. If you remember. Right. Or is it? No, it's that. No, it's that door. Alright. Right, so I guess we'll leave this area then and go back to Brinstar. We'll have to go through another area before going to another area that has the boss. So, so basically, I use the map to go to the uh, to go to the elevator. Right, that enemy's here, so we'll uh, not get hit too much, and instead get up there. All right, that was close. Oh no! No! Oh! All right. No, shoot it once. There we go. Because if you shoot it twice, then it's not really gonna work. All right, there we go. Got this. So I got that. In fact, we'll open this door. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a machine gun. Yeah. And let's go up. And Samus seems to be gone on the OBS screen, and now she's back. And BOOM! What? What? No, I did not press down! Come on! <laughs> My fun must have... Okay. I'll have a drink of my chocolate. <laughs> Ugh, tasty. Alright, let's try that again. This time I'll do the jumping method. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> okay. Because of that enemy. Alright. Right, there's another energy tank you can get here. Uh, uh, you need, you, it is recommended to use the ice beam for this though. Uh, you find it up here. Uh, no, I think it's this one. No, this one. This one? It's that one. Uh, so what you need to do to get this is you need to find those enemies. Yeah, these enemies right here. As you want them to, uh, not do that. But you want them to, um, to go through here like this. And then you've got to do this. Hit them like that. And then... Oh, that didn't work. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Can I get it? Oh, missed. Come on. Can I get it? Yes! Got it! <laughs> yeah, that is how you get it. Now, in Super Metroid, there's a similar area like that, but you can actually get it without the high jump at all. Uh, or any other ice beam mechanics. Uh, but it is very tricky, though. Uh, hopefully I'll do that when I play Super Metroid. You still need the bomb ability though, obviously, but still. It is obviously the best way to get a few items early. And that, uh, so... Alright, 
So we just gotta go up here. And I believe on the map, wait, no, that I'm still looking at the crane map. I need to look at the Brimstar map. Um, so on the Brimstar map, uh, and then, so I go across there, and then down, then we'll meet the elevator across the, across then. So, do do. So now it's a different color area now. Uh, I think I'm in the right one. Yes, I am. Alright. Alright. Right, whoa. Okay. Oh, there's another missile tank here. Does it actually change to 10 now? Or not? No, it doesn't. <laughs> But, it, I get it, it's infinite ammo anyway, so... Uh, it's expected. They could have at least changed it to an infinity symbol, or something. Or 999. Or something like that, I don't know. Another elevator. This time there's no face, because the faces mean it's like a boss area. So... And we're, now we're in Norfair. And luckily, the map is on the next page after Brinstar on my book. So, I need to go to the next hideout, so I start there. Now, getting there seems tricky. Uh, we'll try this way. Alright, I don't know why the music resets when going in a new area after entering from an elevator, but then next time it doesn't do that. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know if the Famicom Distance version had this as well. If it does, then pretty much uh, it's not been fixed. I don't, I don't know if it's meant to happen in the start, so... Go down, I believe. And you might be thinking there's a dead end, but I believe... Well, I don't, I don't think you can get down here officially. Oh, wait, you can. I don't... Can you? You can! Because if not, then I could have done that glitch again, so... Uh, then which door is it? Uh, it's one way below. Do -do -do -do. Why did I kill it? Oh, I have to go from here. Let's just shoot that, there we go. Come on, no! Okay. Okay. Let's go through here. <gasps> Alright. Let's go on here. And then we just go down. Here. And kill all these blocks! Alright. And then there it is. There's two faces this time. Or oh, eat me up. Oh, you can stand on them. And then, this is where we go to another hideout. For some reason, that's on the first part of the book, and then Craig's Lair is on the second half. For some reason. Uh, now for getting to the boss, so... It actually seems easy, I think. We just go like this way first. Yeah, the music may sound annoying as well, but still. <laughs> But the music sounds better on uh, in Metroid Zero Mission, which is a remake. There's way more bosses as well than just the three in this game. Uh, 
Um, but the two in this game, well, the three of them, are actually uh, also in some other games as well, so... Uh... Uh, okay, uh, it's not that one, but it's all the way down. No, it's partly way down. Right, because it continues down, so it's this way. Whoa, you have these balls here. Yeah, these purple balls. Alright. And I froze that one off screen. Oh, that's so cool. Freeze it. Alright, there we go. I got it, I got it. Whoa, okay. I got that there. I believe you fall down from here, so that's where you usually end up. Then you go this way to find the boss. After platforming here, you would have to, um... You would have to, uh, find a red door. And obviously, red doors always lead to the bosses, so... I believe in later games, there were, like, a door with an eyeball on it. Uh, but in Super Metroid, it was only a, it was only a few of them, uh, and um, oh no, it isn't. Okay, but get your missiles ready though, because we meet Ridley, the most common enemy, uh, the most common boss in Metroid games. He's even in Smash, and all we gotta do is just keep shooting him. Whoa! <laughs> I killed him really fast. Oh, but that one's a purple door. That takes a lot of this. There's got to be something in here. Or through here. Wait, you can stand on that. Okay. Oh, it's just an energy tank. Okay. Do 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 do. Get out of my way. Uh, jump higher, Samus! Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Alright. Almost through this. Almost there. No. 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 Okay. No. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're actually almost done. We just need to go to the last area. But it's only long because we have to get there, of course. Now, luckily, luckily the path was easy, actually. Uh, so... So, if you follow along, if you don't care about getting all items, of course, which is pretty much necessary on any it's only necessary on Famicom this system because of a save feature, and so meaning you can 100% it pretty much. But on NES, it doesn't really matter. Uh, unless, unless you really want to do it, but still, I would recommend only 100% in the Famicom this system version. But the Famicom this system version does not have passwords like this one, so meaning you cannot use these cheats, unfortunately. So. That's the, that's the only downside for the Famicom this system version. But other than that, it's actually a really better version of the game. Uh, the, that version's also on GBA, uh, the classics. It's on the Japanese version of Metroid Prime. Uh, if you connect Metroid Fusion after finishing Fusion, and then you can play it. And uh, and uh, obviously the uh, the Famicom Mini. And, Pretty much other Japanese versions. All right, all right. There's the other. Yeah. Gonna drink my chocolate again. Okay. All right. All right. We're back in North Air. Okay. Uh, I need to change my book again. 
There we go. Alright. Uh, right, I think we're going this way anyway, so... So we just need to find the last area, and then we're done with the first Metroid. There's also a secret if you finish the game under three hours, I think. Or is it under two hours? I forgot which one. It's like a secret in the ending. Depends on how long you beat the game. But it's better... I think, I think it's under three hours. Because in later games, it was under three hours. Go up here, I believe. Then, there we go. Yes. Um. So we got through there. And we just go up once until we see another door. Then it's up there. Yep, yeah, through there. through here, and then through that door, Ugh. and then through here, up the elevator, away from those statues. <coughs> oh, I was drinking, and I think I breathed while swallowing it. That's a hint if you're choking. You must have swallowed it while breathing in. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a tip for you old guys. If you're drinking, don't breathe in when swallowing. It can cause coughing to happen. And wet eyeballs too. Oh my god. Don't want that situation like I've had with my Banjo 2 playthrough. If some of you remember. Alright, so, I know where the last area is, so... You just go... I just go back to the blue area. And then find it there. Alright. Alright. And as for this, uh, Japanese version, uh, pretty much the only time the NES version was released in Japan was in... Zero Mission, when you unlock it. Yeah, when you unlock it in the Japanese version of Zero Mission, you actually still get the NES version. They didn't change it with the, Fam the Famicom Disk System version. Uh, strangely. I don't know if it's an oversight or if they're like, eh, well, we'll give them the, uh, US and European version of the game. Uh, because, uh, they've not experienced it yet. Uh, so, yeah, why not? Um... Right, that's all the way at the top, so... So then straight ahead is where uh, they are. Alright, right, then we go through here. And then... Then we... Okay. This again. And then, we should... We shoot them and then we get this. We get a bridge. Now, you can do a glitch where you don't have to do the bridge. But, of course, it is a bit difficult. So I don't really recommend it too much. Only if you're a skilled player at it. But now, we're off to the last area. Which is Torian. And obviously... Oh, there is a map of it on the book, but it's unnecessary, pretty much, for me. And down here, we find... Metroids! Yeah, to kill them, you... You just freeze them with ice and then just kill them. Uh, with the... 
Yeah, and to get them off you, you just... You just use the... You just get the, um... Ice ability, the ice beam, and then... You freeze them, and then you get your missiles out, and then kill them that way. Yeah, you have to kill all Metroids, by the way. To continue. Uh, you, you can't miss a single one when doing this, unfortunately. So then, then you can open the door. And then we have these, uh, bubble things. We have more Metroids coming up, so... Okay. There we go. Alright. Alright. Oh no! Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna... No! Alright. Okay. I'm gonna kill them. It's a weird way of killing them, but, but still. I don't think there's any more around here. No, there isn't. There we go. There's definitely more here, though, so... Um... So, yes. I'm just gonna... Whoa, that was close. And it's best with the auto-fire as well. Uh, and with the infinite ammo and health cheat, so... It's best to use that. Oh, that was close. And if you shoot it with the ice beam long enough, no, you don't kill it. Uh, you have to use the missiles to kill them. Use the ice... You only use the ice to freeze them. It, and you... And it's strictly ice beam. Uh, so you cannot use the wave beam during this, unfortunately. So you would have to... So if you got the wave beam after the ice beam, you'll have to get the ice beam again. So... Alright. Whoa! Whoa! What? There's another Metroid! Oh my god. Right. And if you try shooting the door... Oh, it does work. But I bet the, the Metroid's still up there. But I, I think it. I think it's the last door that doesn't unlock after... If you don't defeat all Metroids. So we'll defeat them all anyway. Right. Okay. Alright. Whoa, whoa! That is extremely weird. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, I think in later games, Metroids uh, are easier to kill. But in this one, it's a bit difficult. Whoa, that one was stuck. Oh, no. Got that. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Okay. Right, I think that's it. So, now we can access the last area of the game. Uh, the final boss. So, I'm gonna save state here. Not save stated in a while. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So, in this area... Uh, besides getting hit first... You have these capsule things that you have to destroy. Uh, if you leave them out for a while while they're small, they will regenerate, so they'll grow bigger, so you have to kill them fast. Alright. It's best if you're close to them like this, and then you can kill them quicker. But still. Now, the best way you could do this is to, like, freeze all of these, and then do it that way, but still. Alright. Alright. Just gonna... There we go. Get up there! Luckily, they don't come back. Alright, and as it goes on, there is fire. There is lava there, so... Alright, there we go. Get in there, Samus! Okay, get in there! Oh my god! Alright, there we go. And then we see this thing. 
wonder what that is. All right. Right, and then it breaks that capsule, and then you want to shoot the brain. So this is the mother brain. So yeah, all you got to do is shoot the brain. And there is a cool glitch you can do, but I'm not going to do it because of, uh, because of, like, seizure warnings and such. You want to produce, uh, reduce seizures. Seizures and that. Whoa, you can stand on it. Okay. Alright. Alright. Because I always thought you could just... Because I thought if you can stand on these correctly, then you can pretty much uh, have an easy way of defeating him. Alright, I'm going to try that. Except it's difficult. Alright. Come on. No! And these things shoot you a lot as well. Which makes it harder. Right, I think the more flashes he has, the more weaker he gets. So, yeah, the hair's got. Oh, there we go. He's defeated. And then you got to shoot this door, and you got to escape as fast as you can. And then it's pretty much the end of the game after this. Dude. All right, come on. Huh. I got this. Oh, okay. Get on there. All right, here we go. Just gonna get up more. And then we're up. We can go in this elevator. Let's go up. Okay. Then. Finished it. Great, you fulfilled your mission. It will revive peace in space. But it may be invaded by the other Metroid. Pray for a true peace. In the space. Or in space. But in the Japanese version it's the space. And then what do we get? Oh my god. It's a woman. In a bikini. So yeah, that's what you get after beating it under three hours. Of course, you wouldn't beat it in under an hour usually, but with the cheat, you can. So... And also, speaking of the, en the escape music, I think this game is pretty much the only one where it has an extra part. In other games, it's just the... The main, the other parts. The extra parts is not there in other games. I don't know what it's like in the Famicom Distance version, if it's the same as later games, or if it had this as well, but I don't know. But I do know is that the the, um, the, uh, the alarm noise sounds better on Famicom. So, yeah. Converted by, uh, does that mean converting it to cartridge? So yeah, that's Metroid on the NES and I spawn my book. So yeah, that's Metroid for NES. Uh, uh, not my favorite Metroid game, of course, because obviously it's the first ever one. But I, of course, prefer the later Metroid games, starting with Metroid 2, uh, Super Metroid, Fusion, uh, with Fusion being my favorite. I've not played Dread yet, even though I should, but still. The end. Okay, so yeah, that's Metroid done. So that's the end. Can I? Yeah, I can. 
And, after beating the game, I think under two hours, you also get... A... A... Armorless Samus. But we've got the same abilities. Do we still have infinite health? Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, should we play the game again, guys? Nah, let's not. Uh, and... Yeah, but she has green hair for some reason. Is it meant to be like that, or is it what? Is it them rushing the game, or something? I don't know. But this was not in the Famicom Disk System version. Uh, only the NES version has this. So, yeah. So, pretty much. Um, um, so that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, so that's Metroid. So, I don't know what game I'll do next. Um, uh, for this year, but still, it'll probably be a game. Uh, so, um, yeah, so. But I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we have done Metroid, so video game Jane Poop out. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye!